welcome back so in this part we are going to make our application able to support the various languages so start a new android studio project and let me name it as locale hit next next choose empty activity and hit next and finish and here is our project let me drag this string at the string at the center of the screen and change this text as high and let me also change this font text size so that you can see it and it is text size it is okay let it be 40 sp and it's our high so go to the text and just type all plus enter and extract string resources and you name this okay so it's the resource name is high and hit okay and if you go to the resource under values folder the string xml you can see our high here so and in order to make this string be available to the different languages you need to know the code of that languages so go to the google and type android supported language and then you will see the page which which says supported support.google.com slash google play slash android developer and there and there you will see the different language code and i want to change my high word to the japanese that's because i want to go to the japan so in so just copy that con language code it is j in our case and come up into the android studio and click on the right click on the values and click on the values resource file and you need to name this as file name as a string and in the direct name you need to provide the values underscore and that language name in our case it is j a hit ok and you need to copy all of these files present in the string string resources to this and copy paste it here and now we need to change this high word and locale to the japanese so let's see what this high means in japanese so come up to the google once again and type google translate google translate translate then you will see this page just type hi and in japanese language it's so just change this to japanese and it is konijiwa so just copy them and come up to android studio and paste it here okay and for this locale oops so just locale only and it's Japanese it says this so copy them and paste it here once again and now hit run choose your emulator use for future use only as well and hit ok and here is our application which says hi in English and in order to check whether the our application is running or not we need to change the system default language and it is set to the english now we need to change it to the japanese so go to the custom locale and then you will find the japanese and here it is so click on them and set japanese as the default language and now just go back and open our app and says hi in Japanese language so this is how we can make our application to support the different languages okay so thank you for watching and I hope you got the concept of how you can do this and I will see you in the next part